What's good, people? CJ Williams checking in. 2023 is here. Before we know it, there'll be releases dropping. For this list, we will take a look at 10 of the most anticipated albums that we are looking forward to in this upcoming 23. Note, some of these albums have not been confirmed, but are strongly rumored to be dropping. We know how music is nowadays. We don't get a heads up until about two or three weeks out before the actual release date. So let's just keep our fingers crossed that these actually do drop when they are supposed to. With that out of the way, let's get to it. Number 10, J-Rock, Eastside Johnny. J-Rock's fourth album, rumored to be titled Eastside Johnny, does not have an official date yet, but judging by the release of his last Redemption project in 2018, I think we're due for some new music. TDE had a monster bounce back year in 2022, with my number one album, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, a top 10 R&B project with SOS by SZA, and a sleeper late in the year with Ab Souls Herbert. Keeping the momentum going with the J-Rock project would be ideal, as his previous album was fire and even received a Grammy nomination for his single win. With Kendrick off the label and its number one R&B act prepping for a tour, the studio should be wide open for J-Rock to lock in and produce some heat. Number 9. Pusha T, Gangsta Grills. Coming off a strong 2022 that showed Push dropping another banger of a project and it's almost dry as well as touring. The VA spitter is showing no signs of slowing down. During a conversation on Twitter Spaces with Rap Radar's BDOT, he confirmed he will be dropping a collab project with DJ Drama through his revamped Gangsta Grills series. No other details like features or a specific release window were given, he just said 2023. Now we all know Drama had a busy 2022, dropping several quality Gangsta Grills mixtape slash albums. Although we are excited for more music from Push, we wouldn't mind if this took a true mixtape form with some Jack beats sprinkled in with original joints. Now that would be very interesting. Also, with Brother No Malice, formerly just Malice, popping up on his album and performing as the Clips at ComplexCon last year, could we see a Clips project in the near future as well? Count us in for that too. Number eight, ASAP Rocky. Don't be dumb. Harlem's own Pretty Flacco has been relatively quiet musically, having dropped his last full-length project testing pre-pandemic in 2018. Appearing here and there, like for an example on Nigos and most recently Metro Boomin albums, Rocky has been mostly low, booed up with billionaire pop star Rihanna and their newborn. But during his Amazon Music Live concert on December 8th, the ASAP Mob lead man confirmed his new album, Don't Be Dumb, is on the way. No date, cover art, or features have been announced, but he did say expect a lot of Metro booming. So whether that means he's producing the entire project or just a large chunk remains to be seen, but we look forward to checking it out. Wonder if we get a re-re feature on there too. We shall see. Number 7, The Roots, Endgame. The legendary band The Roots announced they had a new album on the way last year, October of 2022, entitled Endgame, which is great news. However, this is not the first time that this has been said. Over the last six years, they have teased collaborations with artists and producers, including Ninth Wonder and Jay Dilla. So what made the October announcement so special? Well, they finally played actual music from their upcoming 15th album. The first single, Misunderstood, featuring Erica Badu and fellow Philly native Tierra Wack, premiered on New York's famed Hot 97 radio station one week after Funk Flex challenged the group to drop new music. Unfortunately, the record is not available on streaming sites, so who knows if they stick to the 2023 release schedule. Selfishly, we kind of hope they wait since we just recorded a Roots Albums ranked episode. Just our luck, they'll announce the release date the day after after we drop the episode. Stay tuned for that coming soon. Number six, Chance the Rapper, Starline Gallery. Looking to bounce back from 2019's poorly received The Big Day, Chance has been dropping Lucy's all 2022. Records like A Bar About A Bar, Wraith with Vic Mensa, and The Highs and Lows with Joy Badass shows Chance is definitely trending in the right direction musically. Confirmed to Complex, his new album Starline Gallery is on the way, and the previously mentioned singles, excluding Wraith, will be on the album. Chance says the title is inspired by the Black Starline, a ship line created by leader of the Pan-African movement Marcus Garvey. The Black Star Line was meant to transport goods and eventually African Americans between the US, Africa, Cuba, and other countries represented in the Black Diaspora to create a global network. Hey, we like where he's going with this. Chan said each track will have its own unique cover art piece created by a Black artist. He even said they'll maintain ownership of their work. Hey man, on paper, Chance is winning us back over already. This smells like a Black History Month drop, but we'll
we'll see. Number five, Lil Wayne, Carter Six. Saturday, August 6, 2022, Lil Wayne was a guest performer at OVO Fest where he broke the news that the sixth part of his famed Carter series was on the way. Wayne is poised to have a big year as I Am Not A Human Being 3 and his collab project with 2 Chainz, Kylie Grow 2 are also rumored to drop. Considering Wayne has yet to miss in his Carter series, we are definitely looking forward to what he has to say this go round. How would you rate the Carter series as it stands right now from 1 to 5? In case you didn't know, we have a Lil Wayne Albums ranked episode for you to check out. See how our list stacks up against yours. Number 4, Nicki Minaj, Pink Friday 2. While promoting her latest single, Do We Have a Problem with Little Baby early in 2022, Nicki teased her fifth album would likely carry the title of Pink Friday 2.0, a sequel to her debut. Well, Nicki would go on to release another single with Baby and a third joint with Fabio Foreign, and that was it. The three records were solid, but we guess not enough to warrant a full album rollout. Now, she would drop yet another single later in the year with the commercially successful but creatively lazy Super Freaky Girl. Barb's have been clamoring for new music since 2018's Queen. Since then, Nicki has been busy being a mother and a wife, retired, then came back, and she even re-released her classic mixtape, Be Me Up Scotty. Maybe this is the year we finally get the first lady of Young Money to drop that album. Before we get to the top three, we have a few honorable mentions of rapper slash producer joint albums rumored to be on the way we hope drop this coming year. Detroit MC Boldy James says he has the last pack of the late great Jay Dilla beats and they will be compiled to make up his next project. Do we need to say any more about that? Just wake us when he gives out that release date, please and thank you. Currency and Jermaine Dupri. If you look up the word consistent in the dictionary, you'll likely see a picture of the New Orleans rapper Currency. Known to drop multiple projects in a calendar year, he and JD have been teasing a collab project for a little over a year now. Judging by the snippets on social media, we need that ASAP. 2 Chainz and Static Selector. Originally teased way back in 2017 as a follow-up to Pretty Girls Like Trap Music, the artist formerly known as Titty Boy said he had a full collab project done with producer Static Selector. Aside from a song here and there, we haven't heard anything regarding the two or this project since. After hearing the production on Bun B's Trill Static 2 last year, we would love to see how that sound meshes with Chainz oft entertaining delivery. Any day now guys will be great. All right, back to the list. Number three, Travis Scott, Utopia. Teased way back in October 2019 with the single highest in the room, Scott's fourth album Utopia has been coming soon for what seems like an eternity. Falling back out of the limelight in late 2021 after 10 people died during the Astro World Festival, the sicko mode rapper understandably has been laying low from releasing music. Well, April 2022 saw promo begin to ramp back up for the album as multiple billboards popped up throughout California, teasing Utopia. Outside of the billboards, nothing else really came from it. He did feature on several songs including records from Nav, Metro Boomin', SZA, as well as Drake and 21 Savage last year. There was also a single called Down in Atlanta with Pharrell that made no noise, topping out at number 88 on the Billboard 200. While no date has been formally announced from the elusive Scott, fans can likely expect a full project now that the Astroworld tragedy is somewhat behind him. Number 2. Cardi B. A lot has happened in the almost four years since the debut album from Cardi dropped April of 2018. Widespread critical acclaim, Grammy nominations, Grammy wins, platinum and diamond certifications, and Cardi became a mom twice as well. Like we said, a lot. One thing that hasn't happened is a new album. Of course, we received singles like 2020's WAP, 2021's Up, and 2022's Hot Shit, but not a full-length project in sight. Most recently, she called into the Breakfast Club Morning Show to confirm she is is still working on the album, but it's quote, missing something. While she couldn't put her finger on exactly what that thing is that it's missing, understandably expectations will be sky high whenever she does decide to release it. According to Billboard, all 13 tracks on her debut album were certified platinum or higher. She is the first female artist to reach that milestone. Thankfully, she has kept busy in 2022, popping up on features like Glorilla's Tomorrow 2 and k Flock's Shake It. While it's likely we get an album in 2023, it's certainly not a guarantee. As she mentioned on Twitter, clapping back at a disgruntled fan questioning why she hasn't dropped quote i don't have to put out another album in my life if i don't want to end quote she's not lying number one j cole it's a boy or the fall off teased late 2020 j cole posted a picture of a notepad on top of a studio mixing board that read the fall off error at the top were two crossed out items that read features and return of the dreamers 3 referring to his ridiculous feature run where he killed any and everything that he was on and the third installment of his Dreamville compilation. Below that was the off season, 
It's a Boy and the Fall Off. The offseason would be his sixth studio album dropping in 2021. Now as to the other two items, many believe the Fall Off would be his next and likely last album. Now why no one thinks It's a Boy is an album is beyond us. If you have any info on what that may be, please leave a comment below. Well, what we do know is that Cole has been on top of his game these last few years and has constantly put out solid work. So whether we get It's a Boy or the Fall Off next, fans will anxiously await the release of whatever they end up being and let's hope he doesn't retire like rumors said he would. Also, we're gonna get started on that Cole album's ranked list too, but man, we may have to wait a little bit just in case an announcement comes soon. That's it for our most anticipated albums of 2023. Do us a favor, hop in the comments and let us know what are your top three albums that you're looking forward to the most. Any sleepers that we missed? As usual, we'll know there'll be a couple of albums that we didn't see coming that'll pop up, which makes it fun for us. Until the next time, I'm CJ Williams for Coachless Theory. Check out our list for the top 22 albums of last year here.